it's KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at you fellas again with that motherfucking heat. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shins to the back of the motherfucking neck, holding her down, locking her down, submerging her down to this motherfucking game, pimping. Please believe it. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with these videos, piping hot status, you going to get it down your phone into your ear, all ear candy game. Once again, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Share this shit. Share it. Get your buddies, get everybody, I don't give a fuck, bitches, the youngsters, get them all to subscribe so we can build these subscribers up and get to these uh, live streams and shit so I really can show my motherfucking ass on these hoes. Y'all want that Y'all want that shit to go down? Let's get these subscribers up. Share this shit, man. You got any comment? Get at me at my Gmail, railsfargo12 at gmail.com. That's R-E-L-L-S-F-A-R-G-O-1-2 at gmail.com. Or you can just get me a YouTube. I'm all ears. I don't give a fuck how you get at me. Shit. Like I said, I'm getting ready to plug the motherfucking number in here in a minute. Holler at me. My little cousin. You know. He wanted me to somewhat do a video about my trust level. And how do I trust? How do I rate things? Where do I see things at? You know, and um. He's young, he's 16 years old, you know. He's growing. Got a couple few females jumping down on him and shit, you know. He doing his thing. He's coming, he's smelling himself. He I, I think I think the um the hairs is growing on his little ass nigga. You know, but uh this is for him and this is for all the youngsters out here that you know wanna ask me this question, you know. No, I do not trust bitches. Nor do I trust these niggas. Now let me touch bases on. Let me talk about it. Trusting is somewhat deep. I can honestly say that I trust myself. I know what I'm capable of. I know what I'm not capable of. Um, I know what I want to do. I know what I don't want to do. I know how far I can take certain things. I know there is a limit. Anything in life, whether it's um, dealing with a lot of these bitches, you know. You know, you want to go, you don't want to go too overboard and um, put too much on your motherfucking plate. Start fumbling that motherfucker, if you know what I mean. You put too much on your motherfucking plate, man, you can't handle it, you know. Too many baby mamas. Um mm -hmm. Too many ratchet ass bitches running around, you know, busting your windows out, busting the car, windows scraping up shit, disrespecting you, um, airing your ass out on social media, um, the worst way ever, you know. You know, I, I somewhat been through a lot of that, except the social media thing. You know, that's kind of a newer era. But um, everything else I pretty much cover. So I know what not to do and how, how far I can go in life without having to see the repercussions and consequences behind everything that I do. So, I trust me. Sometimes, I don't trust myself. <laughs> now, I'm just fucking with you. But yeah, I trust me all the way to the extent. Now, when it comes with dealing with a human being, a person, because my little cousin, he got trust issues. And I told him, ain't nothing wrong with having trust issues. You're supposed to have trust issues. That's what gets you going in life. That's why I'm still here at 39 years old. You know, I don't trust motherfuckers like a lot of these guys may trust their homies. A lot of these bitches may trust their homegirls or whatever, you know. I don't do this shit. You know, by sitting behind me, I don't. It's a lot of shit I just do not do because I've been through that life. I've seen a whole lot of shit. So, hell no, I don't just jump out trusting motherfuckers. I take them for what they say. I take them for what they word is. And if they word ain't shit, they ain't shit. That should, you should let them, that should be just common sense on your trust level right there. But a lot of you youngsters don't know. You, you might have to go through a lot of shit in order to overcome um, knowing that um, everything ain't to be trusted. And um, that's life. You gotta go through it. But no, I don't trust women. I never did trust women, and I will never trust women. And I'm not trying to say that, um, <clears throat> and trust me when I say this, since we're speaking on a trust thing. There are women out there 
If they got your back, they got your back. Whatever makes you rub off on that woman, she got your back. It doesn't matter. I've seen women do time with dudes that was doing 10, 15, 20 years and they never budged. They was there every step of the way, coming to visit them, um, sending them money, making sure everything's held down at the household and things like that. But that's very, very, very rare. However, they do got needs. They are out there getting their backs blown out. And the dude knew that, but he didn't give a fuck about that. As long as she's there when he wanted her to be there, as long as she's holding shit down like he's supposed to be holding things down, he didn't give a fuck. You know, and that's just real shit. That goes, that, that kind of intertwines into the outside, into society life. Fuck being in prison. That intertwines into society life. If your woman is holding things down and doing what the fuck she's supposed to do for you, the household, and helping you guys move along in a certain direction of where y'all growing, she may have a couple of dudes on the side that's digging her and she may be digging them and talking to them. But if she knows her motherfucking place, you shouldn't give a fuck. Why? Because you got shit going on your damn self. You're not chasing up behind her. You're not putting your all into her. You're not checking her motherfucking phone. You're not... um. Running around trying to, um, you know, beat information out this bitch like she was a motherfucking pinata. Come on, man. You're not doing none of that shit. So, them things are not going to be typically on your mind when you're moving forward in life. However, it's a possibility that those things could be there. Her actually holding you down and still fucking around on the side. That's definitely a great possibility. However... That's totally different from you trusting. That's just you got a good woman that's holding shit down, doing things like you want to do. I don't know what word to put with that. I guess I can say she's more persistent within you guys' relationship. She does care. That's what I can say about that. But should you trust her? No, not at all. She's a human being. She's a human being. She can still do some untrustworthy things. That does not suit well for you guys' relationship. So never put your trust into everything. You know, never hatch all your eggs in one basket. And what I mean by that is that never put everything around you into one little error like, you got this. I'm watching over this. It's cool. This will never be fucked up. I'm holding this shit down. No, buddy. No, brother. No, partner. Pimping, however you, you want to be called. Player, it doesn't even matter how you want to be, how, what title you want to be called. But check game on this. It doesn't matter how long, how much you watch over your eggs. One of the motherfuckers still going to crack on his own. And ain't nothing you can do about it. That's just the geological um, forms of life. You can't do shit about it, man. Ain't nothing you can do about it. That's life. Now... You can say you trust your woman, you believe in your woman, you care so much to where you know your woman ain't going to do you dirty. You can say that shit all day long out your motherfucking mouth. But what has she shown you? You've been with her for a long time. Y'all got years together. She's shown you distrustworthy behaviors and the way she cannot be trusted within that relationship. You just chose to ignore it. Sweep the shit up on the rug. Those aren't red flags. You chose to ignore that shit. And the reason why you chose to ignore that shit because your head so far off her ass. You love the bitch. This bitch got you gone. Your nose is wide open. You run around this motherfucker like a motherfucking rhinoceros or some shit. Your shit's wide open. You don't give a fuck. You love her. You care for her that much. So you put your all into her. So when she break your motherfucking ass down and turn around and show you that she can't be trusted, it crushes you. It's like your whole world ended. Why? Because you put your trust into this bitch. You don't put no trust into no bitch. You don't put no trust into no nigga just as well. Just as well as these bitches will do your ass dirty. These niggas will backstab you just as well. They turn around on your motherfucking ass, bro, and tell you all the time. Dudes run their mouth like hoes. And they'll try to get you to believe this shit that they saying. When they know they full of shit. That's what pisses me off about guys. 
Now, women, that's to be expected. It's in her nature to lie. Bitch, a lot of God. She a lot of Satan. I said it in the videos. Said it in other videos. That's that bitch nature. But your partner, you ain't looking at him like that. You looking at him that's supposed to be a stand-up type of dude. But he turned around and do some untrustworthy shit. You know what I'm saying? He turned around and go behind your motherfucking back, slamming you to your motherfucking bitch because he want to get in her ass. You know? <laughs> You 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 allow your partner to get into your y'all business and shit every time y'all argue. Y'all there smoking, chilling, drinking, doing what y'all do. You know how y'all youngsters be moving. Your partner sit right there and shit, he jumping up. Hey, y'all don't be doing it. Y'all shouldn't be going through this with the little grin on his face because he's happy to be involved into something. Because he know that deep down inside, this bitch is going to be crying on your motherfucking shoulders. On his mother, excuse me, going to be crying on his motherfucking shoulders. Soon as she kick your ass to the curb, soon as you do something to get this bitch pissed off, you go out and bang some hoes, whatever you do, she gonna be crying on his motherfucking shoulder, dog. He's gonna be coming over there delivering the groceries to the babies. <laughs> yeah, I've done them things too. Giving her a little bit of cash here and there for gas and get back and forth to work because you the monkey breast on the bitch. You said fuck her, fuck everything at, at that motherfucking house, them kids and everything. She the she done took you to the level like that. You like, fuck her. What you think your partner gonna do? And you don't even suspect your partner to be dicking your bitch down like that. You suspect it'd be a whole other stranger, but it'd be your partner, bro. That's who would normally be. It'd be the motherfucker that you hanging out with 24-7 that knows your business. Oh, yeah. Goddamn right. Y'all gonna go hit licks? Y'all gonna go, nigga, shit. You ride, little Sammy ride, little Eric in the back seat. Shit. You trust these niggas, though. Y'all gonna go get this money. They playing two man and the cousin. You know what two man and the cousin is? The nigga that's riding, that's driving. Little Sammy in the passenger seat. And the nigga in the back seat. That's three men. This is two man and the cousin. The nigga in the passenger seat and the nigga in the back seat. They already plotted getting this money and taking it from you. You don't know shit. You driving, you, you lollygagging, lollipop head like a motherfucker. You get the lick, boom, boom, boom. Y'all go back to the car, bow, off your motherfucking ass. Take all the shit, leave you there asleep. They gone. They got a little car somewhere else. They, they moved along with life. Can't be trusting your partners, man. Can't be doing none of that shit. Can't be trusting none of these dudes out here like that, man. You know what I'm saying? You being cool with this dude. You 100 with this dude. You thinking this dude got your back all the way, you know? You hollering at, hey man, what's up? Let's get on some bitches. Let's go out. Let's go out kick it. Let's do this, do that, do this, do that. Y'all try to try to build a bond with your partner. Because you see he on the same level you on. But y'all go out and kicking and shit. You probably look a little bit better. You probably dress a little bit better. You probably got a little bit more money. And you ain't looking at it like that. You looking at it like, shit, this my nigga. I got his back no matter what. He ain't looking at it like that. He hate the way you look. He hate the way you, you dress. He hate that you got every bitch's eye in this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, he hating all that shit. So what he start doing? He started trying to be embarrassing, disrespectful somewhat in public. Trying to show you out like you a piece of shit, like you soft or some shit. Now you got to bust this nigga in his motherfucking mouth. You know what I'm saying? Because he want to be disrespectful because he see his shit ain't going and your shit's going. I've been in situations like that just as well, man. That's what make me go bolo or fuck with guys that's on the level that I'm on. And that's very, 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 very minute. You know? And there's a lot of other things we could come up with on why I don't trust these bitches and why I don't trust these dudes at all. Trust is a big thing, man. You know, you put your trust, you, you say fuck it, you put your trust into motherfuckers, man. You actually give the motherfuckers the keys to your life. They can do anything they want to do with you. Now, anything they want to do with you. They got you. They're going to hold you. They're going to hold you down the worst way. Because why? You trust them. You know, you allow motherfuckers to go and, you know, hey, man, won't you go and, you know, I'm ready to run out of town. where go handle this business. where go fuck with this little, you allow motherfuckers to. You know, look out for you know, you allow you allow motherfuckers to come through the house, chill, do everything, man. You know, you chilling, you know, you ready you ready to make moves and shit. This motherfucker here plotting on your house, plotting to break into your motherfucking house. And it ain't gotta be that, you making no moves. That's just the minute part of it. 
the main part of it is, is you can't bring none of these dudes around to your motherfucking house. You can't bring them around where you where you lay your motherfucking head. Because pretty soon it's going to be shit getting stolen from you. Not only shit getting stolen from you, man. They going back door you. Somebody going to come creeping in your shit, bro. Being too motherfucking friendly. Thinking you can trust every motherfucker. All that shit happens, bro. All that type of shit happens, man. You sitting up here knocking up this bitch. Having these kids with her. Y'all got years together. Y'all know each other's fucking dirty draws, man. She's like your partner in crime. You the dead scandalous ass shit. This bitch was right alongside you. The whole motherfucking time. Oh, yeah. One little slip up. You pissed this bitch off. You got her mad as a motherfucker, man. You... This bitch ratting, running her motherfucking mouth to every motherfucker around, telling your business. You know, you pissed her off a little bit more. Now she's backdooring you with your own homeboys and shit. Telling your own homies, yeah, man, we was laying up one time, man. And, you know, he was he was talking real greasy, yo. He was talking real slick. Getting shit started with your homies and shit. Now this nigga want to bust your motherfucking head. You want to bust his motherfucking head. And you ain't been around it. You don't even know where none of this shit coming from. It's coming from that bitch because you put all that trust in her. Pillow talk with that hoe. Now this bitch got you on a limb like motherfuckers want to blow your head off, man. Because you sit up here trusting this bitch. You know, you trust this bitch so motherfucking much, you knocking this bitch up. This bitch got white man on her mind the whole time. The government. Soon as this nigga think he's slick, soon as this nigga leave me, nigga, soon as this, soon as I'm going to put this nigga on child support. You trusting in this motherfucking bitch. Oh, yeah. This bitch that told you, man, fuck that shit. You stay along, I stay along. We can come together, we can win. Fuck, let's move on out. Let's let's shake everybody. Let's let's do this together. You say, okay. You go get your credit, you go get your credit, you get your credit um checked, you get shit ran, you go through the bank, you get a pool for a loan and shit to move in one of these good, nice neighborhoods, gated ass neighbors, suburban ass motherfucking neighborhoods and shit, man. You get out here with this bitch, man. This bitch ain't even the same motherfucker you was nailing. Before you moved in with this bitch. She's not even the same motherfucker you was nailing at first. This bitch was all the way gravy at first. This bitch just turned into a motherfucking lockhead monster. Out here. Because you put too much trust into this bitch. You put too much trust into the situation. You got her kids. You got your kids. They stand out there. This bitch doing favoritism. She wants you to do everything for her motherfucking kids. And cut your kids out. It's situations like that though. Because you trust in this bitch. You thinking this bitch gonna hold things down. You thinking this is the Brady Bunch. Get the fuck out of here, man. Come on, man. What that motherfucking shit, man? Is you crazy? Think about that shit, man. You know, a lot of you dudes out here in the man that did a lot of dirt with these dudes, man. Did a whole lot of dirt with these dudes. You niggas can name each other's dirty work like it ain't shit. Niggas ain't sent you a motherfucking dime when you was laying down doing all that time. <sighs> Probably try to fuck your baby mama. Probably try to fuck your mama. Probably try to fuck your sister. Probably want to smoke your motherfucking brother. Probably want to fuck your fuck over your goddamn cousin. Ain't no telling what you got going on with these dudes. But you trust in these dudes. You believe in these dudes. You put your all in these dudes. You grew up with these dudes. Y'all from the sandbox together. Y'all came up out the mud together. Oh, yeah. Put a whole lot into this dude. Turn around and betray you like a motherfucker. Bend a dick on no ass nigga. Oh, yeah. And a lot of times, man, I know you hear this a lot, man, but normally, man, the betrayal be coming in over some ass. You know, back in the days when I was coming up, they were saying it was, you know, money and ass to get you killed, man. You know, nowadays, man, these little youngsters, they, they, they doing all the dope, drinking all, all the little syrup and all that shit. They ain't really getting money like that. I don't know what kind of shit they on, but they'll blow your motherfucking head off over a bitch. Quick. Quick. Like a motherfucker. I know a situation right like that right now as we speak, my dude. With a mechanic of mine. I got a couple different shops I go to, but this is a mechanic dude I was in prison with. Oh yeah, man. Over there fucking this fucking with this bitch. He putting out all he's putting his time, he putting his trust into this woman. He ain't got no motherfucking kids. He an idiot, man. She got all she got about three or four motherfucking kids. Three or four different dudes, you know. You know, I'm going to keep it real, man. She, she a white chick, got kids by shit, brothers, 
essays, Asians, ain't no telling. She got like four kids by the different motherfucking ethnicities. I'm, 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 I never asked who they follow was, but I'm just looking at these kids. They look, shit, whoa. But he put his trust into this woman, man. All she was looking for was a provider. Someone to support her. Someone to help her with the motherfucking kids. Someone to help her with the bills. Someone to bring that food in the house. You know, someone she can she can actually go and go and go and suck another motherfucker off, get get the pussy banged the fuck out by another motherfucker, and have you there to be the motherfucker she can complain to. A lot of bitches like that too. They love that shit. You ain't heard from your bitch two, three, fucking four weeks and all that shit. You trusting that this is a breakup. You trusting. You know, it's the title. You trust it. This is a breakup. She, this is, why we on the break? She getting herself together. I'm getting myself together, man. What you, fuck is wrong with you, man? She out having a good time on pipes. Why you sitting back thinking that she's, you know, praying to God or, uh, or, you know, on a little house of the prayer, on a, a little house on the prairie in the village, some motherfucking where helping picking berries and flowers and shit. Get the fuck out of here, dog. She been the utmost hole that you probably do. You wouldn't even know it. Y'all get back together. She come back to you. Complaining and crying to you. You the reason why I did this. You the reason why I left. You just wouldn't trust me. You putting this on me. You putting that on me. You don't believe in me. You don't care for me. We argue a lot and all this other shit. Why? You trust this bitch so much and you allow this bitch. You know, you allow this bitch to come right back and, and shoot this bullshit to you. When she had a time of her life fucking with different dudes that she yearned to fuck with. But you trust her so much, you allow this bitch back to tell you all this shit. It was all you. It was you that pushed me away. It was you that had me take this break. And you believe this shit because you trust it. She come back and give you all pipe breath. Kissing, yeah, having sex, pussy don't feel the same, none of that shit. Oh yeah, bruh. Because you trust her. And you tell yourself, man, maybe if I would pay attention more to my woman, wouldn't nobody else get her. She's looking at you like, yeah, yeah, keep saying it. Keep believing it, motherfucking idiot. I'm going to do this anyway because I liked it, that nigga. He just, he just that nigga that I probably dreamed. I was dreaming of when I was 16. This bitch 38, 39, 40. Come on, man. Quit trusting in these hoes, man. Quit trusting in these dudes, man. You want to live a long life, a stress-free ass life? I'm 39 years old, bro. I got a little grades down here. I don't think I got none up here. I ain't caught none yet. I might have one or two or something. I don't think I got that many. Why? Because I don't give a fuck. I don't trust no nigga. I don't trust no bitch. Ride no walking. If I can't pick your motherfucking ass up and throw you, that's how far I can trust you. And I can't trust none of you motherfuckers as far as my hand lead. And this motherfucker stop right here, bro. Flat out. Putting your all in the motherfuckers, man. That'd be the fucking nigga. I swear to God, that'd be your death day. Real shit. Put your trust into you. I put everything into me. And sometimes I can't even trust my motherfucking self. <laughs> So why the fuck I like trusting other motherfuckers? It don't even make sense. Don't even add up. Like this shit, share this shit, and subscribe. It's the motherfucking message. Share this shit. Push this shit out. Push this shit out. It's the motherfucking message. Let's build these subscribers up. Let's go. Let's go hard. I'm willing to go with you. Let's ride. Holla.